guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very exciting video because I had my baby and I'm going to be introducing my son to you today. I want to grab him because he's starting to fuss. So this is my son, Marcus Daniel. Um, he was born July 11th, so 7-11, and he was 7 pounds 11 ounces. He is such a wonderful baby. I cannot believe how good he is um, but people keep telling me that that is going to change so I'm quite aware that it could let me get his meat really quick so Marcus turned four weeks old on Monday which was two days ago and yeah we've just been adjusting to becoming parents and it's been really fantastic and really quickly I'm going to share my labor and delivery story mine was not fairy tale labor and delivery story and I'm not sharing it because I want to complain or get sympathy but um, because I felt like I was the only one that wasn't having the perfect pregnancy and working out and gaining very little weight and it kind of depressed me honestly to watch all these videos of moms who did so I want to share my story for anyone who is going through this or is going to go through this um, well, basically, I'll just get into the story. Uh, the first trimester was actually pretty miserable. I tried to have a really positive attitude throughout it, and I kept telling myself that so many people had it far worse than I did. But now looking back, it was pretty bad. It didn't have terrible nausea, but it was pretty bad nausea consistently, like 24 hours a day um, for the first 18 weeks. Well, starting week six, and then going up until week 18 and I worked full-time throughout my whole pregnancy um, which was also really hard during that first trimester I would eat constantly throughout the day just to try to keep that nausea away a lot of people tend to lose weight during that first trimester or stay the same but I ended up gaining 20 pounds which is a ton of weight but I had to eat just to get me through the work day and I did try to eat really healthy snacks there were a lot of things that I did um, to kind of help the first trimester, which I will get into in another video. Let me know if there's a lot of interest in that because I did go through a lot of nausea and I found things that really did help and tried basically anything I could. I was willing to do whatever to just try to get, you know, feel good throughout the day. Um, but the second trimester went a lot better starting week 18. Um, I got a little bit more active when the nausea went away. I was able to do a little bit of exercising and even went hiking and stuff like that. But the third trimester is when I started gaining a lot of water weight as well. And I wasn't eating a ton of food. I was eating maybe a little more than 1600 calories a day. I, I was trying to exercise. I was walking pretty much 20 minutes a day at least. So the weight gain was largely due to water weight and my ankles starting in month seven were extremely puffy and looked horrible and my legs as well like the skin around my legs was so tight um, and none of my shoes would fit so I'm on top of like having to change my whole wardrobe only a pair of flip-flops and another pair of sandals were the only pairs of shoes that would fit me. And then towards the end of the third trimester, I did get preeclampsia. It was a mild preeclampsia, but on week 38, they told me that my blood pressure was high and there was protein in my urine. I had already had swollen ankles for a couple months by this point, and it was enough to concern them and decide that I better head over to the birthing center and see what they think. So it was a Friday and I had just finished up the work day. And so we headed over. I, I remember thinking to myself, oh no, they're just gonna send me home. This is, this is nothing. I'm going to have a normal delivery process, but I couldn't have been more wrong. They actually said that the wisest thing for me to do at that point was to be induced. Um, because baby was full term, he would be fine, and um, the preeclampsia could take a turn for the worse, and that would be in danger for me and baby. So oh, he smiled. <laughs> so we talked it over, and my husband had come to that last appointment with me, luckily, because he had heard things like this happen and he wanted to start being at the last few. Um, so we talked it over and decided, okay, we might as well be induced because, you know, 
it's just the healthiest thing. We didn't have any of our stuff at that point, so my mom brought everything over to us. And that night they were gonna start me on the, um, with the induction process, if that's how you say it. Um, so that night we were getting bedded down for the night and they were gonna put the fully bulb. Oh, my mom is calling me, hold on. Hello? Hi. Hi. Okay, where was I? The fully bulb. Oh, no, 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 rewind. So we were bedded down for the night. They were strapping, you know, the equipment on me just to monitor baby's heartbeat and then to check and make sure that he was head down so we were ready to go. But he wasn't head down, he was breech. And so they decided that night they could either start a C-section or try an aversion, which is them basically with their hands twisting baby around. So obviously at this point I did not want a C-section, I wanted to avoid that. So I was like, yes, let's go ahead and try the aversion. And apparently it's not always successful for first time pregnancies. And it was painful, but at that point I was just positive about it. I just wanted them to do it. So it was totally worth it to me. It only took about 10, 20 minutes. Um, and it was successful. So we slept through the night and the next day they started the induction process. So just in case there are men watching or children, I'm not gonna get too graphic about this. First, in order to get to me from a one to a four in a matter of minutes, they did something called the fully bulb, which honestly was the worst part of the whole pregnancy for me. It was painful, but it was more completely uncomfortable. The only thing that I felt like I could hardly handle any longer. Um, but thankfully, at that moment, they said I could have fentanyl, which is um, a relaxer and a pain reliever, and it's instant. And as soon as they put it in, it was like, wow. It was heaven. And I've never done drugs, but I can now understand why people do and get addicted. So basically I went from major discomfort to just complete peace and relaxation and I was able to go to sleep. They gave me a couple more shots of it throughout the night too. Um, which I can't exactly remember how this took us 24 hours. There must have been something else that I'm forgetting in there. The next morning they started me on Pitocin and um, gradually my contractions started getting stronger and stronger and they told me that the anesthesiologist was busy and would take him about a half an hour to get to me and I was starting to get a little bit more painful so they when they offered me more fentanyl which was something that I was only too eager to have it was amazing and that pain relief actually lasted until the, the anesthesiologist came in and by that time I was still just kind of out of it and just relaxed and happy um, and he even said and he really appreciated that um, I was so relaxed because most of his patients don't have fentanyl and they are screaming and just ready to get the epidural. So I didn't feel a thing with the epidural, it was amazing. Basically after that we were just waiting for the contractions to get stronger and stronger. That night at 10 o'clock my water broke and I remember Daniel was sleeping next to me and I couldn't reach the call button to call my nurse so I called his name he didn't answer I basically had to scream his name about five to seven times before he finally woke up and then he called the nurse for me and then we just kept sleeping through the night um, by 10 o'clock the next morning they said that my contractions were still just very small and I just wasn't responding to the Pitocin. By that point, my water had been broken for 12 hours and they said it was time to just do a C-section, which I was disappointed with, but by that point, we had already been in the hospital for three days and I was just ready to have the baby come and go home. So the C-section though, I have to say, honestly, it was easier to go through than the procedures for the induction for me. Um, that was just my experience, but um, it was like five minutes and the baby was out and then another 20 and I was all stitched up and the baby was next to me so I didn't even really notice that, but it was just the most amazing moment when I heard my baby cry for the first time. Me and my husband, like I just remember looking over at him and he was just had tears in his eyes too and I was like, oh I thought only I was feeling like that emotion about it, but it was just such a a huge moment. It was the most amazing thing. Um so baby 
got here and then we were basically in the hospital three more days to heal from the c-section but when we got our baby home and ever since he has been like the most perfect baby like I feel like since I've had a not so good pregnancy and not as planned labor and delivery story um, I had to at least luck out with a good baby and I did he's amazing he wakes me up like twice a night to feed and sleeps pretty well throughout the rest of it and throughout the day he's just like this or just you know if he has his passy in his mouth he's fine or if he's awake and we're holding him he's fine like he is just such a good baby and we're already so in love with him I just did newborn pictures of him and I can't wait to get them back and see them they're gonna be so cute um but yeah we just love this little guy so much I hope that hearing the not so perfect labor and delivery story kind of helps some of you I know that it kind of depressed me to hear like oh I, I only gained 25 to 35 pounds but I gained like 60 but I've already lost like 40 of it so it does come off and um, it's amazing how fast it's coming off and then the water weight as well uh, my stomach through my hips and then my ankles and calves were so extremely swollen especially after the pitocin they drained something like four bags of pitocin in me just to try to get me to go into labor which I wasn't labor just not strong enough labor apparently but it has since gone away um, and it's going off really fast and nursing is going extremely well I hope that my story somewhat helped some of you um, if you have any questions I'd be happy to answer them so just leave a comment down below um, I hope you liked meeting my baby we love him so much he is just the cutest little guy and I'm having fun dressing him I thought I would only have fun dressing up a girl but dressing up a boy is really fun too especially making him match like his dad next week I will be back to lifestyle and beauty videos so give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have already done that thank you for being subscribed if you already are and i will see you all in my next video hey everyone today's video is going to be a review on the born with foundation by too faced i really love too faced products i haven't actually come across one that i haven't liked yet um so today's video is not